name is Kathy, and I work at the Lakeshore Branch of the Essex County Library. Today, I'd like to share a book recommendation with you. Don't Look For Me by Wendy Walker. It's every woman's worst nightmare as a mother and a wife. But that being said, it's my favorite kind of book to read. It's dark and it's twisty. Wendy Walker tells a story that will have you quickly turning the pages long into the night. Warning, if you pick up this book, you may lose sleep. Don't say I didn't warn you. One evening, Molly Clark walked away from her life. She got in her car and she drove away, leaving her family behind. Her car was later found abandoned at the side of a deserted road. A note was found at a nearby hotel and the police soon gave up the search and the case went cold. Her family was shattered and could not be put back together. It happens all the time, the police say. Women desperate to leave their lives behind and start fresh, find themselves, reinvent themselves, start over, disappear. Molly has left and she does not want to be found. That's the story. But is that really what happened? The evening that Molly disappeared began with a violent storm, her running out of gas, and a kind Samaritan in a truck. He offered her a ride to town. With him is a little girl that reminds Molly of a child that she lost years ago. She sees it as a sign, a good sign, a way to get out of the storm and back home to her family. But as soon as Molly gets in the truck, and the doors lock her in. She comes to realize that she may have made a terrible mistake. The story is told between two alternating perspectives, that of Molly, the mother, and her daughter, Nicole. Nicole has never believed that her mother would just up and leave their family. She believes, and always has, that something sinister might have happened. Maybe her mother possibly could have been kidnapped. So, when a new lead comes in, after the search for her mother has gone cold and ended, Nicole starts to wonder, could she uncover the truth? So, she decides to take the quest to find her mother upon herself. Her mother's disappearance makes no sense, and as Nicole travels to the small, desolate town where her mother's car was found, she first finds that the locals are quite kind and willing to help. At first, the innkeeper, the bartender, even the police are all forthcoming and willing to help Nicole in her search. But when Nicole's questions start to reveal long buried secrets that some people don't want uncovered, Nicole comes closer to learning the truth about her mother, but she also realizes that she too may be in danger. This story is not only about grief and tragedy, obsession and addiction, it's also about love and parenting and survival. Not only will you root for Molly in this book, you will also admire her ingenuity, her resilience and her will to live. I haven't even told you about Alice. I'll let you discover her for yourself. Happy reading. This book and many others like it are available at your local library. We're currently offering curbside pickup, so place a hold and get yours today.